Hello friends, welcome to beautiful Sunday morning here in the uh, sunny Brisbane. Long week, long, long week. But here we are, diorama. Motivation's good. Uh, a lot of um, a lot of progress made this week. I have uh, all of my models on blocks ready for ready for preparation, um, and I have uh, a couple to go. Not all of them. There's two or three left to go. Uh, this one being one of them, and I think we're I think we're pretty much done with the base. There's probably like two or three little things need to do. Get a gone beyond one. Good day, good day to you, sir. Uh, yeah, so I think I've got a, I posted a picture on the old Facebooks yesterday, so I might just bring that up so I can show where we're at because it doesn't fit on this camera. It doesn't fit on any cameras. Uh, Let's go have a look. Copy image address. Image. No. Browser. Okay. Boom. Here we go. So, we're making some good progress. Um, the church, I've got to do, uh, the roof tiles and just finish off the back, the backing of the church, everything underneath, um, is pretty much done. Good work going beyond. It's awesome. I like that model. Um, yeah, so that's where, that's where this is at. Um, so all of the models, uh, are sitting over there and they're all on their little plinths ready for painting. Uh, this one is the only one that's not on a plinth because I've just got to decide how best to plinth this because I want her coming out of the thing. I just want to decide where she goes. Still a bit bright, Demo. Turn down your exposure, you peanut. So I sort of wanted to be coming through the the mausoleum. Turn this pressure off. Okay. But do I want to the front? <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> I think you don't really, uh, really understand what you're looking at until you see 75 mils. I know. Yeah. It's hard to explain quite how big they are. <laughs> Morning, Simon. Yeah, this is an awesome model. So yeah, I'm just trying to decide the best place for her. So this this sits at well, you can see a photo. This sits at the back on an angle. Sort of like this. So I think I want her like that. My frog dog's on the way. My frog dog is uh, is very close. I'll be getting it this week, I think. I was thinking about cutting this chick and uh, and um, doing stuff, but I don't think I will. Just 
Yep, yeah, Yawa is a little more complex, but uh, also a very good model. How am I going to get that in? He says, G'day, Jet! The scars of your love remind me of us. I can't help feeling that we almost had it all. We kind of had it all. It has been a hot minute, mate. Hope you're doing well. I'm back into another crazy project. I can't remember how many I've done now, but it feels like a lot. Feels like a lot. Haha, <laughs> enjoy mowing the lawn. Perfect way to spend a Sunday. Okay, that should work. Let's glue this Bobby Dazzler down. And then we'll do some sculpting. So yeah, I feel, I feel with this project, all my projects. Oh yeah, good one. The real strength, the real thing that takes um, effort on these projects is just finding the mental fortitude to keep working on it. There have been times, even this week, just this week, where I've been like looking at it going, what am I doing? Like this is insanity. Just absolute insanity. There we go. That's good, actually. Twelve nine hour prints. <laughs> Sane people don't end in the history books, mate. You're absolutely correct. Um, yes. Well. Yes. What, what is difficult about this process is just continuing. Just getting up and doing something. Such as... <clears throat> sanding the base or sculpting or doing something that you've done over and over past the point where it's gotten boring into monotonous into depressing But at the same time, it is fun. There's elements of it that are quite fun. And uh, making the video has definitely given me a different appreciation for 
um, people that make videos. <laughs> Because it is a lot. It is a lot of work. One of the things I was contemplating on doing today was actually editing the video on stream. I wonder if that would be interesting to watch. Probably not. Why am I having such difficulty with this arm? It's killing me now. Uh, do I enjoy the process? There's, there's parts of it that I enjoy. But as a general rule, not really. Yeah, there's parts of it that are fun. <clears throat> it's, uh, yeah, it's just a lot of work. I think I've, I've discussed this on, on stream before, but when you when you see people that are really successful at YouTube, you tend to see that they they don't often uh, continue to be good painters. Well, maybe they never were good painters, but the yeah the process of <laughs> process of um of making videos for youtube is where their real focus is so they they focus on being good at making videos i tend to focus on being good at painting so it's a very different um very different skill set I try, I, yeah, I try not to think about that specifically, Seb, because if I get to um, thinking about how great it's going to be when I'm finished, <laughs> then I stop focusing on the moment and the experience and what I'm doing and the fun that I'm trying to have with what I'm actually doing. Because there's, you can't do a project like this um, and... not enjoy the the basic everyday bits. Okay, Plank. <clears throat> but yeah. My advice is don't think about the finish line. I'll consider that, mate, but it's very unlikely. Just not really a space marine guy. I wish I was, you know. It'd make me more famous like Dave Colwell, but I'm just not a space marine guy. Okay, let's go. Cool. 
Oh, mate. I am here to talk to people and answer questions. I don't mind that it's from a little while ago. And that project was only three or four months ago, so that's not that long. <laughs> um, what was challenging with Yawa? Two things. Uh, the first being having her separated from the bicycle. Um, I found it sort of difficult to have really good points of contact that I could attach her to the bicycle in, just the way she's designed. So going back, I probably would paint her attached to the bicycle, but painting the actual bicycle itself was easier. So, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, it's actually, it's, it's a it's a surprisingly simple model. Not a lot of um, details on there that took time. Um, uh, so yeah, that was the first challenging thing. Um, and the second was getting the, the focus right because it's because it's such a wide dispersed model, you know, with her in the center, you would think that it would be easy to have uh, her be the focus because of the way the model's designed. But yeah, I just found it um, a little more challenging. Good though, challenging in a good way. Is that actually the piece from there? Surely it is. More of the hair. Do these things stick on the stand? Where are these things from? Am I going to use these chains? These chains are useful for holding her in position. I don't think I want to use those chains. In this instance, get a yab. <laughs> yeah, it's a true thing. They are smaller. So we're not using that. We may use the chains. That's definitely a hair piece. That's all right, mate. Um, I think I did her on stream, so you can always go and watch some of that, potentially. Might be helpful. Might not be. Interesting that they've gone for a, uh, a resin cast majority of this model. And then for that little small intricate part, they've gone with a 3D print. As uh, Galadriel said, the world is changing. Galadriel. I don't remember these things. I remember these things on the model. Have a look at the Kickstarter. Be 
right, right. Yeah. You would have had a queen. I, uh, I've been rewatching Star Trek Discovery, friends. Where are those bits from? <clears throat> it does look good with the chains, actually. Do I need the chains, though? Chains? Ah, that's actually on the lapel. On the front. I see. I see. I see. Dark and terrible as the moon. I shall remain collaterally alone. On your kite. Supposed to sit under there. Is it? Surely not. Look at your thing, Dan. It's not. I've done it. The other one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, rewatching Star Trek Discovery. Very, very good. Very, very good. I like it a lot. Really nice way to get into Star Trek. But there is a lot of assumed knowledge. It assumes that you understand a little bit about Star Trek. Terrible as the dawn. Yeah. Thou shall love me and despair. Come on, Dad. Get it together, son. Do I have to go down here? Yes. Isn't there a new season of uh, Lord of the Rings coming out? What was that one called? I still haven't watched it. Benny liked it. Rings of Power. Yeah. That's cool. Prime's been on a bit of a run recently. They've had... Reacher, they've had Rings of Power, they've had Wheel of Time, they've had, um, there was one other one recently that was very, very good, uh, Fallout, yeah, good stuff. <clears throat> Zinc white paint, never used it, is, is it? Zinc. Mm, interesting.
Why would you want low power? More power. There it is. Floating. Wonderful. I like that a lot. All right, so you can all go in the bits box. Do I want one of those chains? Maybe we can call this chick Tina Arena. <laughs> I just realized only Australians are going to get that joke. Anyway. I'm in chains. Maybe one, one little chain? No. No chain. Well, um, to speak very generally and without actually uh, saying anything that is gospel, you probably shouldn't be highlighting with white as a general rule. White is your... last very last highlight should be mixing with yellows ivories pastels it's a generalization This is boring stuff, I know. I said this in the last video. Diorama stuff is majority quite boring.
Do we hate cyclists? Do you mean cyclists on the road? Yes. I do hate cyclists on the road. Get off the road. But, in general, I don't hate cyclists. I mean, I'm sure they're nice people. Just get off the fucking road. You know what I mean? You know, I'm a... I'm an angry guy, so... Uh, depends where you are. Very few places have a bike lane here. Yeah, fucking caravans. It's true. Yeah. That's good. That's a good outcome. I feel happy about that, actually. All right. A couple more things we want to get done today. So let's get into that. Symbol this last dude. <laughs> the documentary on Netflix about uh, Lance Armstrong, I saw the trailer for it. it, actually looked quite interesting. Was it Netflix? Might have been one of the other ones, might have been Paramount or something. But yeah, he, uh, he was an interesting character, wasn't he, Lance? Like, to have gone from um, cancer survivor to drug user to winning the Tour de France. Just a very divisive character. So I think we'll, we'll be very close to uh, undercoding models from this project uh, in the next day or so. So I have a question. Should I pause on the project and edit the video? Or... Pay my frog dog. Or should I complete the whole project and then put together the video?
<laughs> Good question, Mac Fixer. Good use of that GIF. Or emoji, sorry. Fuck, I'm bad at Twitch sometimes. <laughs> Fine. You're not my real dad. I think I'm. I think I'm at a point where I want to stop for a little bit and do the video. I think that's. I think that's what my heart's telling me to do. You know. Shoulder pads. Listen to your heart when it's calling to you. Listen to your heart. There's nothing else you can do. I don't know where you're going and I don't know why. Listen to your heart before. Great song. What a banger. G'day, Connor. Fuck. Fuck you. is the last model I've been trying to keep track of lots of interesting things <laughs> good call Yab good call that's my real that's my real passion uh, I've been trying to keep track of like little little details so I can put fun facts in the YouTube video like this is my sixth thank you Mac this is my sixth tube of super glue <laughs> so far <laughs> uh, it's good stuff Good stuff. They're supposed to go in front, don't they? We could, we could. Top 100 on Australian Idol, you got it, mate. Just one of the many, many gifts that I bring to the world. It's a shame emotional awareness isn't one of them. This guy's sick. Look at this guy. Whoa. Do I want him to have a banner though? That's the real question. Six tubes of super glue. Two things of filler.
two sticks of need it. If I only had a heart. My girlfriend's been really enjoying my lack of emotional awareness. Haven't you, my seat? <laughs> G'day, Gary. Haven't you, Mossy? What's that? Been enjoying my lack of emotional awareness. I love it. Kaylin says you must be a strong woman. No? Yeah. Put up with my shit. Ooh, this is getting to be an exciting moment actually. Last model assembled. Everything set on positions. Uh, tell me, has anyone watched The Acolyte yet? Is it worth having a dip? Where is it set in the Star Wars universe? I watched Ahsoka with no knowledge of the Rebels timeline or anything that happened in Rebels and I enjoyed it but I certainly think that it would have worked a lot more for people that had timeline things, understanding of that timeline, that area, that element. Um, where does the Acolyte sit? I am looking for uh, I won't say I'm looking for a new show I've got about 17 shows on my list at the moment haven't watched Three Body Problem got plenty cool that's enough for me if Match Fixer says it well actually one of the guys at work said the new Jennifer Lopez uh, movie was actually quite good as well um, and I watched the trailer it does actually look pretty good what was your perspective on it? Yeah, did you enjoy it? Atlas, it's called. Uh, I saw the trailer for that last night too. That's a Japanese film, I think, isn't it? I do love Godzilla. Gojira! Great model. This could actually be my favourite one of these guys. Awesome. Be my favourite skeleton. Look at him, what a sick guy. Yeah, okay.
what was that one that she did that she got absolutely panned for? Was it Jiggly or something? Is it as bad as that? Jiggly, Jiggly? That is an outstanding model. But I fucked up ever so slightly with his sword. Because as you can see, his sword sits just lower than his foot. If I had to figure out where this guy goes, I'm going to have to grab my dollar armor, aren't I? Do need to make a decision, actually, about... where I'm going to do my painting. I think I'm actually going to do my painting here. Of the, I'm talking about the physical diorama. Not the, uh, not the models. Ooh, it's an exciting moment. Or as Dozer would say in Matrix, it's a very exciting time, Neo. Great movie. Great film. Shame they didn't make a trilogy. Actually, I didn't think I didn't think the Matrix sequel was that bad, personally. G'day, Mossy. You want to come and say hello? No, nah, come and say hello. No, <laughs> just gonna go eat corn chips for breakfast. Great model, look at that. All right. I'm just gonna go bring my thing over. Um, so, stand by for some real fun. Don't break it, Deno. Don't break your fucking thing you've just spent like the last six days working on. It's longer than that, but anyway. Okay. So what I've got to determine is, do I have enough space to actually paint this here? Because that is something I need to determine.
great question, Gary. This is a, a, a figure that's going down the bottom under here. How, how fucking stupid is this project, seriously? Hello, my friends. Yes, it's my face. Maybe I need to get a bit bigger angle. Okay, how good. So I sanded this filler, looks good. Need to add some dirt here. This is nice. Yeah, it barely fits, but it does fit. Why? I feel like it does fit flat. What am I missing here? You want me to put the church on? <laughs> I'll put the church on. Here's the church. Perfect, look at that. Through the ages, a new story of civilization. Okay, we might put everyone on there. Yeah. I, I reckon I could probably get it all on stream. Anyway, so yeah. All that's left to do, from my perspective, is... You can see here... I've added some foam board bits here. So, I'm going to be putting tiling, roof tiling, on those. So, And then, I've got a little foam board backing plate here. So, I just need to fill all that in so that we have a nice smooth back and then I'll fill the edges with some putty and filler and then I just need to sand that down however before I do that I need to make a decision about these bits this this and this and that decision is are we doing um, lighting are we putting lights LEDs in the back to have a nice um, stained glass window type effect so that's one decision um, yeah um, what else have I got to decide On that base, <laughs> what else do I have to decide? There's something else. Yeah, lighting. Oh yeah, and then what I actually want to do on the inside of 
that building. Just to be controversial, do I want to AI generate the inside of a church? <laughs> And glue that to the back of the foam board. Those are the things that I'm currently tossing up for the church at the moment. Not necessarily the AI, but that's, that's more of a joke. But what am I actually going to do with the inside of the building? Okay, so just gonna put this guy in there. his spot. In you go, buddy. Yeah. And now I can decide. Oh, let's put put this down. Yeah. <laughs> that's true that's true I do need to commit you're all virgins oh come here big bopper oh no 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 that's okay no breakages Let's fucking stop breaking stuff down you useless fuck Okay, so that's there, that's there, so where do I want this skeleton? Initially thinking back here, but that's not going to work, is it? Can't really see under there, can you? There you go. The head's facing the wrong way, Dano. Do I take the head out and twist it the other way? Or is now the time to change tack? I do like both of those. G'day Sleepy Slang, thanks mate. Here. That makes sense. So just to provide some perspective on what I'm doing and thinking about right now. Um, the challenge with a project of this scale and size is having each model um, have a purpose for one but also feel like the model um, has its own kind of like spotlight like you know it exists um, there's a, there's a specific viewing angle and a specific perspective for it. And then you also have it being a part of the story. So this guy, if we have a look at him closer, uh, the best angle for this guy is basically like, for your perspective, basically front on like that. Now, if I'm if I was to put him front on here, which does look awesome, the problem is it doesn't fit in with the story because in my head all of these undead are being summoned 
to assault the church. The church is up here. The staircase is here. So everyone is rushing to get to the staircase. And so you've got the horseman coming across the bridge. You've got another horseman riding through the river. And all the skeletons and everyone else is sort of conversing, converging on this point. Now, it makes sense and it sort of fits that this dragon thing is not necessarily facing towards the staircase. To me, that is okay. And you may be asking, why is that okay? Well, it's quite an elaborate model. It doesn't necessarily need to fit in exactly with everything else. Yeah, so the smoke machine is still potentially on the table. We've just got to think about... The thing that stopped me with the smoke machine um, is I'm worried about the residue that it may leave on the figure. So short term, cool smoke machine. Long term, is it going to leave a sticky residue? Um, and I can't get a firm answer on that from any of the research that I've done. So... I don't really want to commit to a smoke machine if it's going to do long-term damage. Anyway, uh, if anyone has any experience with smoke machines, <laughs> could work, could work. What I'm kind of, what I'm trying to do is have each <laughs> each figure have its own story and position. So this doesn't fit in with the story of let's all rush up to the staircase. Does it? No. It also is creating an issue with the this thing where we don't have the tail as big a focal point. Question is, does either of those things matter? Because this is a sick model and do I want to use it? Do we use the rule of cool and just say, fuck it? The floating lady is up top, my friend. I think we should put all the models on the base, I think is what we should do. Let's have a look at the whole scene. And I will pull my camera off and move it around. I'm going to do something whilst I'm doing that though. I just need to make some notes <laughs> about which model goes on which base. <laughs> uh. Just in case. Thank you, mate. Necro. <laughs> Come on, Dad. Get your shit together. I agree, I agree, he should be visible. He's also a cool model, so, you know, we, we can break all the rules for the rule of cool. Um, orc guy. All right, one by one, we're gonna add these models. And you can see where everything goes. However, I need to get all the models. <laughs> and they're all up here. Fuck me, it's a project. Fuck me. 
Okay, this is the Witch Hunter. One of those parts of big projects no one really talks about. The actual time it takes to fucking set everything up. Where's this guy pole here? Where's your home? Ha. I found you. Witch Hunter. Asteria. I remember for Camelot, um, I remembered the spots of everyone easily on these little bases, but Just don't want to have to think about it. Where did I put you, Asteria? Here. There's a hole there. Don't know if I drilled her a hole actually. Let's draw her a hole right now. my head on screen. Oh look you can see the back of my head. Good one. <sighs> Where did I fucking drill that hole? <sighs> Free bald spot. Yeah it could be going bald. Mossy was giving me a spray about that yes yesterday. I'm going bald. I definitely don't need to put a thing on this one because this is the only one here. Where are you? Listen to your heart before I tell you goodbye. Floating, floating lady. Got a fair bit of sculpting to do, friends. <laughs> I got a fair bit more shit to do as well. Oh, goodness me. Galen. No, I, I, I haven't gotten that far, mate. One of my favourite expressions, you got to eat the elephant one bite at a time. So colours is not, not even on the radar right now. At all. Where 
here or we want Kylan? We want him here. That'd be awesome. Yeah, as cool as Neon Knights was, and it was cool, I feel like I didn't quite execute on the cyberpunk theme as well as I would have liked. In my head, cyberpunk is not, like, grungy. It's sort of clean. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm thinking of a different sort of futuristic style but finally I can see you crystal clear get it up out of the ground Cool. Yeah, I just uh, maybe missed a trick with some of the stuff on the thing. Anyway, it was a good project. I glued this guy down to the base so that he was more stable, so we're not going to put him in. There it is. There it is. That's a great question. Um, what I tend to do is try to have a single light source, like an overall light source, such as a sun or a moon, and then um, consider other light sources in isolation. Isolation is not the right word. Come on, Dennis. Come on, mate. All right. So, 
as the top scene. I froze the camera. Wonder if we can deactivate. Deactivate. Yeah, good work. Here's the underground scene. We'll come back to that in a second. And then here's the swarms of skeletons. I just don't have enough. Oh, mm, anyway. And then the other horseman's here. We've got an empty spot here. So the question is, does this guy just go in here because he's awesome? Like this. The answer is probably. I don't think this guy's running. I think he's um, I think he's climbing up out of the ground, reaching for something. The issue with your suggestion, as it were, I mean, it could work. Yeah, he's sideways, so you don't get to you don't get the full picture of him, but he's not sideways from this angle. Which looks quite cool. Maybe let's entertain that for a moment. We'll do some drilling. Stop pressing buttons, Dan. Let's entertain that for a second, shall we? Reaching a fever pitch and bringing me out the dark. Interesting. This lady over here and the knight at the front. Um, true, however, there's two things that make me not want to do that and I can explain my reasoning. He's got a shield right shields are good but they block a lot of like stuff and so i feel like we're blocking a large part of stuff right if we have him in front with the shield also you look at his head right his head's facing this is the line of his eyes so he's looking at the staircase here if i put him over here we need to have him like that to be looking at the staircase she on the other hand her gaze is this way and so she looks like a little bit more ready to be facing this and this facing here. This guy, he's up here. He's looking towards the staircase. He's also a range guy, so he's fine. She floating, obviously, no problems. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, so he's he's also larger than her, so he makes more sense to be back. She should be at the front, otherwise she gets lost. So yeah, this is all fine. This is great. This looks sick, by the way, down here. When she's riding the thing down there, she's got a stick, it's awesome. Uh, this guy that's here, you can't really see him from the angle that we're looking at, but... Yeah. This chick, she's cool. This guy is a shame, really. He is not... He's fine. He's fine. This guy's head's in the wrong angle. The sword, the, ho the horse guy. His head's facing the wrong way. The question is, do I want to change that? This guy does look pretty good here. I will concede that. He looks quite cool. There is a banner here as well. Should put that banner on actually. Don't know if two banners works there. I do. <laughs> I spend a lot of time just sort of sitting at it, thinking, thinking about things. This is pretty normal. Yeah, I will say that I, I, I think this is actually a really good use of this model um, because it's actually one of the weaknesses of the scene is that there is nobody on the staircase because um, there wasn't a model that was posed appropriately for it, but he kind of is. It creates empty space here. I might need to put the horse guy on. Oh, shame. Shame. Yep, tend to agree, stair guy works.
So the reason why I felt like it was important to put this guy on the base is because I wanted to see if this banner blocks visibility to him. And it does. So probably the question that we need to ask now is not is this guy going here? Because I don't think he is. Um, yeah, the, the big, this big orc dude here, he's actually not hidden. It, it's just you, the angle that you guys are viewing, he's blocked by this right now. But when you look at it front on, he's sort of not there. But when you come over this way, he's right in a great spot. When you look, it, and you want to have different, like, you know, different viewing things, different things you see from other angles, right? So that's, that's not a bad thing. Um... Let's speculate for a moment, Demo, that this guy goes here. How do I feel about that? Um, this guy could go here and we could move back to a tree, which was my original plan for this. And we just cut this guy off his rocky base and put him in the actual ground. Yeah, yeah. I was I was definitely looking to put the tree into the scene, but just the the execution of it was the models have taken up you know a fair chunk of space. I think that is our best iteration so far. Um, let me get some camera distance. See what I mean. All right. So this is the front on angle, right? One thing I find is important is making sure that each sort of model has its own, you know, p parallel or has its own spot, right? So if we look up here, we've got one, two, three, four, right? They're, they're, all, they're not in line. They're, they're all sort of in their own space. And you can also see that I've got different heights there as well. One, one, two, three, four. Right, so that creates some interesting spaces. If we go over here, you can see quite similar. One, she's actually a little bit further back. Two, this guy's a little bit further forward. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, that guy there. Down here, fine. So if we look at it from this angle, this 
guy's head is facing out towards the viewer. That's maybe not a bad thing. It's facing the viewer. What do you think, Mossy? Come over and have a look. Get over here. No. I'll turn the camera off, woman. No. Don't cackle. I like a see, witch. I can see it on your Twitch. You can't see it on my Twitch. This horse? No. The facing is wrong for it to be on this side of the thing. Steady hand. Thanks, that's funny. You're a funny guy. You're cold. Your lips are purple. Come and say hello. Have we just changed the iteration of this in a positive way? So this, this angle, you can see what I mean about that guy at the back there. All right, he's got a really good little spot tucked away. So that's good. Yeah, I think that's where that guy goes. What do you think? I think that's it. I think we've done it. We've landed on it. Always good to have these little reflective moments. I just glued this guy down properly yesterday too. That's quite annoying. So I had it done this yesterday. <laughs> oh well, it's done. Decision made. Yeah, Bucks would have some insights. That is absolutely true. Would those insights be good? Yeah. Maybe not so much. He's not. He's not a. He's not on fire with his insights. He's had some hits and some misses. Let's be honest. I might grab. Put the Brom horse on there, you reckon? It says here. Is that a bald spot? It's getting there, isn't it? Look at that. Nah, not really. It's still plenty of hair. Brom. Perfect. <laughs> uh, where's my little box of goodies?
can stay, buddy. You're doing fine. You're allowed to stay. So we use one of my little things here in the ground, buried in the ground. This guy can be like climbing on that. Or do we just make it a rock? I can't fix you back, no. If I could, I'd fix my own. <laughs> um. So I'll just, I'll provide a perspective on that big guy. Uh, he's not my favorite model and his feet are at an odd angle. So I don't think he'll fit. So yeah, I mean he could, he could be like a bodyguard. We'll, we'll, we'll change their position in a second. We'll see if that works. So you're just walking around mood again. Um, I think that's just got to be a rock, don't I? Or a broken bit of gravestone. Oh, here's a broken gravestone. gravestone is it too many gravestones is there such a thing in a fucking Okay, Jared. I need to move this guy off here because he's going to fucking fall. <laughs> he's almost finished, by the way. He looks pretty cool. Glued him down. Just need to add some snow. Just need to fix this whippy chain. And then I've got some plans for those bits. He looks fine. He's good. I think I like the other one better. Um, okay, do I want more... These. I did. I did try their paint. I'm not a heavy body guy. We'll just put it out there. I don't think the paints are any any bad or bad or good. They're actually just here. Um, I'm just not very good at using heavy bodies. Perhaps with some practice, um, I could be, but 
not right now. Okay, let's <laughs> Hello guys, it's Marco from Not Just America. <laughs> where's a where's a thing that you'll be able to yeah here's a paint <laughs> that's actually not that heavy I've done a good job with keeping it light this time um, there's a lot of uh... oh don't do that Danny. there's a lot of uh, foam in there which has made it uh, lighter um, I don't know how much too much Uh, I think that is our, I think that is our go. I think what I've done there is our plan of attack. So, I think I am actually going to glue. Which, uh, which dude doesn't fit? The other... Yeah, which one are you talking about? The one underground? Or... The orc one? Ah, okay. Yeah, that one makes sense to me. It's, um... She's the one doing all the summoning. She's the, uh... She's the main bad guy, working from the shadows. Jared, I'm not sure. Uh, I think what I'll do is... I think I'll paint the... Yeah, there's a witch lady on there. I think I'll paint the model, I think I'll paint the base first. What I like to do is build the base to have kind of like a, an understanding of the whole scene. Ooh, am I going to paint that guy on there? That would make my life easier. No, can't. I will, I will. Yeah, let me just finalise this little bit and then we'll try that swap.
Calm down, get your shit together, mate. There's a fucking train wreck at the moment. Fuck, come on, son. The tree is back on. That's good. All right, so we'll just put some rocks at the back there. We'll do that with need it. This is all time very, very challenging. this one don't need that all right I'll do that in a second uh, let's swap this guy so here's the banner guy so let's assume that banner guy is here or somewhere in this general vicinity This guy down here. It definitely doesn't work. There's all of his angles are wrong, right? His face is tilted towards us. He would sort of need to be this way, I think, for it to be fitting properly. Which he, this could work for me, which he definitely is not. Um, facing this way, he's just very closed off. You don't get to see any of the detail of him. He really needs to be sort of facing forwards like that. And then he could go here. He's good here. He's at the back. He's facing in the right direction. You get to have a little bit of... Yeah. He's fine. So this guy... Here. Which is actually good, because I really like this guy's aesthetic. And having him be sort of... At the front works for me. So the last Six tubes of super glue. <laughs> About to become seven, I think. All right. So we just need to build a little bit of stuff. <laughs> anyway, I think Jared asked, what's my process for painting? Yeah, so the first thing I'll do is I'll block out colours on the base. So having a base um, with at least a general sense of ambience will make for um, 
an easier painting experience because I'll have, you know, a picture of where everyone is in my mind, like the color, the atmosphere. Then, um, Um, once I've got kind of like a general sense, it doesn't need to be like, extremely clear, uh, we got, we'll go on and start doing some individuals and then we'll work back and forth, trying to make sure that we get the level of detail right between the figures, which are the, after all the central component of the story and the base which needs for them to feel like they're a part of that environment but we don't want them to feel like they are the only thing that's in um, the only thing that is in detail so it's kind of a delicate balance um, that requires working back and forth so like for example the back of this underground is going to be very muted and not really um, utilize much whereas um, you know this this area here these areas here this is going to be quite a level of detail um, let's talk tree let's talk tree I think I've got wire for it I think I've got wire for it. So the tree can go here, sort of sit there. No leaves, right? We just do a spooky tree, spooky tree, no leaves. I think that's the best plan. This guy is definitely uh, quite cool there. So let's just do his little bit of rocky mountains <laughs> what are you doing Yep, spooky dead tree, definitely the plan.
Yeah, I've got uh, I've got two birds to use. Um, I might grab those out. Is a skull. Just grab some bits. These are the last bits for the scene. Wow, this is exciting. Um, I think, well, yeah, I don't think that'll work. So I've got this, which is like a stick with a, a head in it. I'm not sure where to put that. Maybe at the base of the tree. I definitely want to use that, but... Oh, maybe it's over here. That could work. Uh, and then we've got Galen's helmet, which I was contemplating using like just here. Yeah. Probably doesn't need probably doesn't need to be there the helmet, but we'll leave that there for the moment. And then I've got some skulls. Yes. I got a crow. One for perching on a gravestone, maybe. And then another crow. Also for perching on a gravestone. This guy's got a dog too, should we use the dog? I don't think the dog's at all helpful in any part of this scene, but... Dunno. Looking at what we have ahead of us, I'm starting to feel a little bit like I've bitten off more than I can chew. <laughs> this is probably the most elaborate one I've done. Crow there, maybe. So I've got two crows and some skulls. Where am I going to put the skulls? Skulls could probably go down the bottom here. It's doing something halfway between those. It's like crouching. It's not very good.
interesting, could work. Skulls for the skull throne. Skulls for the Lord of Corn. Uh, that's a great that's a great uh, spot to leave it I think friends well done all and sundry uh, super cool scene this is a great change I feel well it's that's where the model's actually from the witch hunter he has a he has a dog yep I like the I like the layout um, there's elements of it that we'll need to continue working on but I think overall this is quite a nice uh, quite a nice layout. Everything feels like it has a place, has a purpose. Um, yeah, next step is just to finish laying out all of the uh, the ground, the ground texture. Um, yeah, smaller details. Uh, this little bit here that looks a little bit unusual. The way that I'm planning on fixing that is grass. I'm going to put grass here so that because I'm not going to attach this part otherwise it'll be impossible to transport. Impossible. It's going to have to get sent in two different boxes I think. let's call it a day for the day and uh, we will move on uh, I hope you all had a fantastic insight into this little scene and some great suggestions today I think we've managed to uh, to really land on this diorama so well done I think our sleepy slang we get to add your contribution to the wall of contributions um, yeah next step build a tree Build a fucking tree. Alright, cool. <laughs> Something else to add to the list of shit to do. That's alright, we're feeling good. Hope you all have a fantastic week, friends. Uh, I will catch you all tomorrow. I'm not sure if I'll be streaming. I'm heading to Sydney this week, so... Uh, yeah. So I may not be on tomorrow night. Love travelling. It's doing great. That's it. I'll catch you all when I catch you. Thanks for your support. We'll catch you all soon. Big Dino out.